Welcome to the Pro Kitchen 4.1 video tutorial on display setting additions. In this tutorial we'll take a look at the new display setting additions and show you how they can be very valuable to your design experience. So for starters we'll take a look at, at just our basic layout here. Um, this is what you're used to seeing. We've got everything set up in there as normal. Now what we've added to our display settings is we've added the ability to take our zone, our zones here, and make those invisible. We've added the ability to make our toe kicks and our end panels invisible. We've also added the ability to take wall cutouts such as windows, doors, and actual wall cuts and turn those invisible. And We can also now take our grid work and we can change either the background color or we can change the color of the lines or both. We can also change the thickness on our lines uh, in case these are a little too skinny for some people to see. So to get started off we'll click on our view 2 and we'll go to our display settings and under our items we're going to go in here and first I'm going to turn off our zones. So we'll go down to room elements, wall zones, and you can see right now that this is the default colors of them. We want to make them invisible. Click on OK. Now there we have it. You can't see our zone. They're gone, but they're still there. They're just invisible. We still get our measurements when we roll our mouse up in there. If we were to place a cabinet or a tall end panel in this case, they place in the zone as normal. So now we can go take a look at our next one go back to our display settings. And here we'll turn our panels off. Now we can come in and we can access these one at a time and turn off our little visible button. Or we can click on the words panel here. It pops up with a use for all and group button. If we highlight that, now we can make our change to invisible. And this works on, on all of the items here. And OK and there our wall panels are gone. They're still there. You can see we've got a measurement of 7 and 1 16th inches between them. They're just invisible. We'll go back here into our display settings. And now we'll add our toe kick to that. And here we've added top moldings, light moldings, and toe kick moldings. I guess toe kick's the only addition the others have been in there. We want to make it invisible, and there our toe kick is missing. And now we'll go in here one more time. We're going to go back to our room elements, and we're going to go to openings, doors, and windows. We're going to make them invisible, and there we have it. We broke it down to just the cabinets. Now we'll click on our next tab here, and here we'll take a look at how to change our grid color. So we're going to right click, go back to our design settings, or I'm sorry, display settings, but here we're going to go to selection and grid. And now we can change our selection. So we'll change this to, let's go blue. Okay. We'll go out and we'll take a look at the selection because you're probably wondering what do you mean selection? Well selection is whatever we select. So if we click on this tall end panel it gives us that little blue outline. Now it used to be red if you remember. If you try it on yours it'll be red if you don't change the setting. But here whatever we click on, whatever we select turns gives us that blue outline. So now let's go back We'll leave that one. Now we'll change our line colors. So let's change our line color. Ah, we'll do this one for the girly girls out there. We'll do pink. So our line color will be pink. We can set our background color. Let's do... There we go. Something like that. And there we have it nice pink and green grid work. 
with things that highlight blue. Okay, so maybe it's not the greatest combination. Go back to our display settings. And now we'll take a look at, we can change our line thickness. Uh, so we'll change this up. We'll go up to a 4. That's a nice, good thickness. And that's 4 pixels wide. So there we have nice thick lines, very thick lines in pink. Okay, so now we've got this all funny colored. We can come back here. Load default settings. Okay, and we're back to normal. Same thing on our others. Whoops. Load default settings. And it changes back to normal. So now with these new display setting additions, it'll allow you to tailor your views to exactly the way you're, you want it or the way that you need it for your customer or your installer. And thank you for watching the Pro Kitchen 4.1 Display Setting Editions video demo.